All right, so in the last video, we built out our neural network. And so this neural network will learn um, how to act appropriately, and it's going to learn the behavior that we expect it to learn. And so now we can start implementing the act function. And so this act function is what's going to actually send our action to the environment. So we can do def act. And so this is going to take a self and state. And so you just put this self here um, as a parameter so that we can access these variables um, inside this function. And we put the state here because uh, we want to pass in the state and predict with our model based off the state. So now um, we want to create an if statement. And so if np.random random is greater than self.epsilon, then we want to take a, um, we want to predict our action using our model. And um, this value um, is not greater than epsilon because epsilon is one, but as we decay epsilon, this value here will start to become greater and we can start actually making predictions using our model. So we can do np.argmax. And so you always take the argmax of your prediction and this just allows you to get whether um, index zero, which represents doing nothing, and index one has, so you're, you're going you're gonna to re uh, return an output. And whatever index has a higher probability, that's the argument that we're going to take. And so this is what the argmax function does for us. Okay, so we can do self.model.predict, and we're just simply going to predict the state. And so that's going to predict uh, what our best action is. And so here, if our epsilon is less than random, then we just simply want to return one. And this is going to be if, we're going to return one if np.random.random .random is less than self.jumpprob. And so this is this value here. So if this value is less than the probability of jumping, um, then we want to return one, else zero, okay? And that's it for our acting function. Um, if you're kind of confused, I would recommend just reading this over and understanding what each value does. This simply just picks up a random value between zero and one. This one is the probability of taking a random action. Um, and if this is greater than that, then um, we don't want to take a random action we want to predict. And so here, um, we're just simply checking if, uh, if our epsilon is less than. We want to see what is the probability of jumping uh, greater than the random. Then we return 1, um, or else we return 0. So just go through it if you don't understand it. But um, this will allow us to act appropriately in our environment. So that will conclude this lecture. And in the next lecture, we will start building out the learning function. And so the learning function is what's going to um, train our model as we progress through our environment. So I'll see you there. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.